People need to have purpose to get up. They need purpose to perform. But we don't take a second to realize the purpose is always there. The purpose never leaves us because the very purpose is you. So if you wake up in the morning and you don't want to do something, man, you don't care enough about yourself. I know there's so many people that have the ability that just refuse to get off that couch. And that's where I gain the advantage. You can write everything down if you want to. Be brave enough to write every one of your goals down. But I'm going to tell you something. Life's going to hit you in your mouth and you got to do me a huge favor. Your why has to be greater than that knockdown. And I love it. Buster Douglas got knocked out. Nobody ever got knocked out by Mike Tyson and ever got back up. It was almost a 10 count. He was stumbling. They were four, three, two, one. And ding, ding, ding. Saved by the bell goes to his corner the whole world is like up oh, that's it once he comes back out that's it Mike's gonna just hammer him and exactly that Mike Tyson came out like I got him I got this kid up against the rope listen to me many of you right now life's got you up against the rope you can't give up you can't give in listen to me if it was easy everybody would do it and if life's got you backed up I need you to do what Buster Douglas did Buster Douglas start fighting back what messes you up is you focus on the thing that's not happening and that causes you to get discouraged. If you get wrapped up into what ain't happening, it get ugly, man. The one way to combat discouragement is with gratitude. Some days, of course, I'll get tired. Some days I will get beat up. Some days I will get knocked down and drained and I will have some bad days. But I will not stop. To me, every day is a beginning, a new day, a new week, a new shot at life. An opportunity to come out of the gate like a man possessed and attack the day without mercy. I am going to win. You have to decide to live a life where excuses is not something that you're going to do to give yourself a pass. You've got to say, I'm going to do this because it has meaning for you. Do what you know, not what you feel, and you will manifest your greatness. The most important thing is to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. Most of you won't be successful because when you get tired, you quit. I've never met a person who was not successful that didn't have a great amount of self-discipline within their life. Uh, self-discipline and being able to perform and being able to keep your life on schedule and being able to keep commitments and promises and meet deadlines is essential to success. So often the easy path calls to us to be weak for that moment, to break down for that moment. I need you to confront you. I need you to look in the mirror and tell you, you are not gonna do me like this no more. You're not gonna keep procrastinating. You're not gonna keep thinking like that. I need you, you're not. You're not gonna continue to sabotage me. You're not. There's things that you know you're supposed to do as a human being. Things that you know are gonna improve your life. Do those things. There's things that you know are gonna make you a worse person and make your life worse. Don't do those things. Get up early, do some kind of workout, eat good foods, clean your room, make a list of things that you're supposed to do in your life, and then wake up in the morning and do those things. And no, it is not easy. But you're not gonna get it from anyone else but you. What do you do when somebody's not there watching you? What do you do when you have to either do what it is you know you're supposed to do, or you get to take the playoff because no one's gonna know the difference? Because it's really easy for anybody to come to work on the days they feel like killing it and killing it. But what happens on the days that you don't feel like killing it? What happens on the days that you don't feel like getting out of bed? Because those are the fucking days that are going to define where you end up in your life. When you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. When you're uncommon, have uncommon ways. Get ready for people to try and block you and conspire against you. 
develop the interior core where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. One of the things limiting you from your income, your impact, a world-class life. You care too much about what people think about you. Everyone has an opinion. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history? Haters motivate me. Because when they talking about me, that means I'm doing something. You see, while you're over there watching me and talking about me, I'm working. I'm working hard. I'm taking things to the next level. You keep gossiping and I'll keep working. You keep talking smack and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everything and everyone else and I'll keep working. And when you finally look around at where you are and where I'm at, you'll realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about. And you will lose and I will win.